Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Uh, this is where I talk about comic books, guns, and anything fun. Well, today I'm going to do a little something different. Um, usually I do a video with me standing in front of the camera showing you what comic books I've just gotten in. Well, I have been working with an app. Uh, well, not an, well, yeah, it is an app, and there's a website you can go to called Zap Kapow Comics. I'll put a link down in the description. This uh, app or website allows you to input all of your comic books by searching for them clicking on the ones and even clicking them by the grade you know or think they are and it'll give you that value and it'll save all this information in their system and give you nice little statistics about um what series you have the most of or what um uh, what manufacturer brand basically like marvel or dc that you have uh it'll tell you what is your most valuable comic and then it gives another statistic but i can't remember what that is at the moment um there is a charge to use this um but the the lowest charge is like 4.99 one-time fee but if you get that one uh, it doesn't update the prices automatically, so every time you update, it's $0.99. Cents. Now, that actually isn't too bad as, you know, you might not... Um, what, do, what am I saying? You, you might not need to update the information for maybe a, a year or you, who knows how long uh, you want to take to, you know, update the information. But then you have to remember to go in and actually do that. Um, second thing, or uh, second tier is like, uh, or the first tier is called, I think, the Bronze Age. Second tier is called Silver Age. That's $19.99, one-time fee. And you will have automatic updates of pricing, um, you know, full catalog, everything. Um, and then there's a gold age. It comes with some extra stuff, some like uh, things that come out prior uh, that you won't see on silver or bronze uh, until a little bit later. But, you know, for me, I don't need to really know things ahead of time. You know, it'll eventually come out. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's cool. Uh, check it out if you want to wait to... Keep a record of your comics, value the numbers of what you have, and um, it even uh, has a cool little feature where you can print out that list and it'll itemize everything for you by alphabet, the number of issues you have, and the total value of all of it. So say you have your house broken into and somebody steals your comic books, or uh, there's a fire in your house and your comic books get destroyed. You can go online to the website, print that out, and submit it to your insurance company stating, you know, this is the comics that I had, the value. And uh, I'll actually show you a picture of what it kind of looks like right now. So this screenshot right here is... Currently, my collection value, my total of issues, and I still have some issues to input in there. And, and as you can see, too, my most valuable issue is Batman Arkham Knight from 2015. Number one, GameStop cover B. $156.25 in mint condition. That was actually a shocker to me. Uh, I thought some of my other ones, like my Spider-Man 361 or uh, Amazing Spider-Man 299 would be more, but apparently this is worth more than that but anyway uh yeah go check out zap kapow comics.com once again i'll leave that in the uh description uh i am not sponsored by the company i'm just giving a shout out to them because i'm using it and i like it so thought i'd inform you guys too so uh now since i was using this uh website and and another thing too the website is actually more user friendly than the app you can get on your phone. But um I mean you you can get both and go in and you know look at comics or whatever. Um 
if you're away from a computer on your phone. But it's more thorough on a computer. So just a heads up about that. So anyway, back to what I was saying is I was inputting my comics and the last bit of comics that I had received, I put away for getting to do my video first. So instead of going through and taking all those back out uh, just to do a normal video, today I am going to just show you some of the, the pictures I had previously took of them. And so that way um, you guys see what I got since I like sharing this information with you. So anyway, back to, so here we go. So first up, I re received this um, this last week, Amazing Spider-Man number 22. Uh, and this is the Haunted Part 6, the saga concludes. And Amazing Spider-Man number 23. Uh, I realized the picture quality, you know, there's a little bit of a glare there. I'm sorry about that. Uh, and next time I will try to get the video done before I go and put my comics away. But anyway, those two first. Next up, Symbiote Spider-Man number three. Very nice cover. I like the colors. Uh, kind of contrasts, or I'm not even sure if I'm using the right word, but it looks it looks good with the Symbiote Spider-Man in the center there. It's just all those nice colors popping out. Um, Venom number 15, War of the Realms. It's a cool cover too. Then lastly is Batman, Last Night on Earth. Um, very interesting book. Obviously, it's just starting off and not too much going on. It's, you know, a little bit of background of what exactly happened, why, why the story has taken place. And um, Wonder Woman number 72. Now, this is a variant cover. I actually didn't order the variant cover, but it got sent to me anyway from TFAW. Now, these comic books, when they came in, I think I, uh, I might have done a video on it, but they were, they were slightly damaged. Uh, and I don't know if that was during the packing process or during the shipping process, but I contacted TFAW right away and informed them. They responded back to me quickly. I sent them some pictures of the damage. And they, they shit me out uh, brand new ones with the exception of Batman Last Night on Earth because they were all sold out. It sold out quickly. So they did refund me the total for Batman. But thankfully, this issue, it's a thick issue, so it wasn't too damaged. Uh, but when I got in the new, um, the new package, they sent me the regular Wonder Woman 72 which is fine, you know, uh, I went back and looked on my, my shipment information, and it didn't show that it was a variant, now usually when they, you do get a variant, it shows that it is a variant, so uh, somehow they sent me this variant at no extra cost, I don't think it was any much more uh, of a difference, this is not one of the really expensive ones, but uh, I still like it, it's very nice, I think that's a very nice um, cover there. So, um, that's it as far as this, it's technically last week's comics that I got in. I ended up switching the frequency of how often I get my comics to each week. So, I might be getting in a few less each week, but I'll be most likely doing videos each week to show you guys. Um, that way, I, I don't know. I, it's just, um, I don't really like the getting all of them right at the end of the month. Uh, cause the videos take forever to come out and I, I would just like to do it more frequently, get a, get a package each week. So, um, other than that, that is it, guys. I uh, have Black Cat Issue 1 coming in pretty soon. I'm going to save that one for when I get my next week's comics, and then I'll do a video on it then. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, subscribe, comment, hit the like. Uh, I like the comments. I'll, I respond back. So, I mean, if, if it's like question-wise or just a thank you. So hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time.